For the Shinkansen to run smoothly at high speeds, we had to ensure that the wheels always stayed perfectly round and the rails perfectly straight. That meant expensive round-the-clock maintenance. But then I began to think that if trains didn't have wheels, maintenance would be much simpler and you could go even faster. That's how Maglev got started. For the last 30 years, floating on magnets, it could become the fastest and quietest passenger train in the world. But after decades of development and a budget big enough to put a man into space, the question is, will it ever happen? Japan has a dream. It's a train that goes as fast as a plane and makes no more sound than the wind. They call it maglev. How does it work? OK, time for a quick physics lesson. Metal coils run all the way down both sides of the track. Pass an electric current through them, and they act as either the north or south poles of a magnet, depending on which way you make the current flow. The coils will now attract or repel other magnets passing by, and those magnets are fixed to the train. To get the train to move forward, you have to make the electric current in the track switch back and forth at just the right time, so that the coils in front of the train are attracting it towards them, whilst those behind are repelling it, pushing it away. That's the theory. Would it fly? So why the delay? The problem started with the immensely powerful magnets needed to lift the train off the ground. Only superconducting magnets, cooled by liquid helium, will do. They're expensive and not yet completely reliable. You can look at some fairly complicated levitation systems, things like levitating trains which rely on uh, the control and generation of accurately of very controlled fields. If you could replace those complex control systems with bulk materials, then you would simplify the control significantly, you wouldn't compromise performance, however you would have to maintain the operating temperature of the bulk material. Japan pressed on and is now spending two billion pounds building a 12-mile section of double track through the mountains of central Japan. The hope is that two maglev trains will run past each other at a closing speed of 600 miles an hour. However, Dr. Kiyotani still has big dreams for maglev. Maglev trains could one day run in an underground tube, and by making the tube a vacuum, there'll be no air resistance. The trains could go much faster, up to 3,700 kilometers an hour. So you could travel from London to Tokyo in just over three hours. So Japan might still have a long wait for Maglev, but one day, perhaps, it may span the globe.